light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Yudo of Essentials here So I was asked to make a nightstand that would look similar to this but in an inexpensive way with lots of decoration in front And then I remember that I had an X table tray now this is what it looks like. I spray painted gold, but this was a long time ago. Now here's an idea of what it looks like when you buy it from a store. This was how mine was before I spray painted it gold. This is really high for a nightstand, so to make it shorter, I'm going to expand the legs. When I was sure of the height that I wanted, I folded it up and kept it aside. Now because I was trying to work on a budget, I got two pieces of wood from different projects and then I added them up together using mending plates. The mending plates come with screws, so I'm going to be holding both boards together with screws. Now if you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. The next thing I'm going to do is attach the board to this using screws. I'm pre-drilling holes first to make it easy for me to use the screws. I'm using 2 inches screws for the angles. And then attaching both pieces together from the top, I'm going to be using 1 inch screws. This wood that we have here at the bottom is kind of making it look like it's irregular, but I will be covering that up much later. I'm going to prep it for spray painting by covering the whole thing with Mod Podge. And then when it's dry, I'll be using a gold Rustoleum spray paint on it and this is going to give it more shine. This is an office storage box that I got from Walmart. This is exactly what I needed, but it was kind of small. So I'm going to place it in the middle. And then I made marks to use as my guide. And then I'm going to be gluing it down. And after that, I'm going to be using foam boards to make little pieces and glue them besides the box as reinforcements before I cover the whole thing up. And I'm using the foam board that I got from Walmart because the ones at Walmart are way stronger than the ones that they sell at the Dollar Tree.
I covered both sides, including the back. The top is also going to be covered using a foam board. If you have wood at home, even better, you can use that instead. I glued it down and sealed off all of the edges using an E6000 glue. I'll be cutting out two pieces from a piece of foam board that's in a triangular shape that's going to cover up a little opening that I have on my design. Now this was what happened. Remember the wood that's at the bottom? I covered it up with a long strip of poster board and then left some kind of empty spaces by the side. So that's what I'm gonna be using the triangular shapes that I just cut out to cover it up. To start decorating the top of the nightstand, I'll be using this golden trim and cutting singular strips to make a pattern with it. This is pretty, but I have to take it off so that it doesn't look like an office item. I painted the white patches black and then continued with decorating the top. Here I'm just making marks to where I'm going to be putting the knobs. I'll be making openings here for the knobs that I intend to use. To add to the design, I'll be using mirror mosaic tiles and the link for this is going to be in the description box below. I'm going to be cutting singular strips from this to add to the design on the nightstand. As I apply the mirror mosaic tiles, I'm going to be cutting it to make sure that it doesn't obstruct the opening and closing of the drawers. These are the crystal knobs that I'll be using and now the bottom part is silver so I'm going to be covering that with golden strips from this trim. The knobs were attached using an E6000 glue which is a really strong adhesive. The top of the nightstand is going to be covered with Mod Podge. 
This is going to serve as a protective layer for the nightstand, and I'll be using two coats of Mod Podge. The request was made to have a lot of design in front, so that was why I went with this, but then you can definitely leave yours bare if you like. The shiny surface on the nightstand gave it an interesting finish. This was such a fun project to make. Not only was it easy to make, it was also inexpensive. And I'm so glad that I picked up this request. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and remember to like it and share it with your friends and families. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.